quiz. You want to go back and edit your answers. You don't know what to do. So today I'm logging in from an iPad. I'm clicking on Classroom. When I click in there, it's going to open up Classroom and I'm going to select the classroom I want to go into. I'm going to use Ms. Gillardy's classroom. I click in there and I'm going to go to the very bottom where it says Classwork. When I'm in there, I look through the assignments. Now these are all gray because these are assignments that I've already completed. The ones that are the colored ones are the assignments that I have to currently work on. Right now I'm going to go to Math with Mr. Calla and I'm going to take a look at my decimal quiz. So I click on the decimal quiz. Now it says here that I need to watch the video lesson on decimals before taking this quiz. No calculators. So I've already done this. I've watched the video. I've taken the quiz, but I didn't do as well on the quiz as I wanted to. So I'm going to click the attachment to go back in there. When I click on that, it's asking me what do I want to open that up with. Now, I have Safari already installed on here, so I'm going to hit open for Safari. When I do that, it brings me into Google Docs in Safari. Now, sometimes you may see it pop up on the screen saying that you need to log in. All you do is you just put your username and your password in for Google Classroom, and it connects you to everything. Now, I've already seen my score and I know it's not too good. So I want to go back and edit my responses. I'm going to click on this edit your response button. Now when I do that, I come up to my questions. Now, if you see what the questions and it has a red star by it, that means it's something that I did not do right that I need to go back and take another try on. So what you're able to do is, if I were you and I was doing math, I'd have a piece of paper by me and I would try to write these out and figure out how to solve them. Once I do that, I would click back into it and I have to actually click on that line to make a change. I would delete the answer that I have there and I would put in a new one. See, now it doesn't let me leave it blank. It says that this is a required question. So, hmm, 70.72 or 72 hundredths, huh, hundredths as a fraction. Oh, wait a minute. That would mean I'd have 72 out of 100. That's how I would write my answer. When I'm all done and I've gone through all of them, I'm going to click, uh, click on the submit button at the end. I hope this helps you out.